Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Ala Bierman, a health educator with Beaver Medical Group in the Health Education Department. Today's webinar's topic is how to improve focus and attention. Let's go ahead and start. Again, welcome to today's live webinar. I would like to start with um, a quote from Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And we will learn some good information today to help you improve your focus and attention. So what is concentration? So concentration refers to the mental effort you direct towards whatever you are working on or learning at the moment. So most people forget things more um, um, as they age and the concentration or focus decreased um, can lead to memory loss or something like that. So head or brain injuries such as concussion as well as certain mental health conditions can also affect your concentration. Um, it's easy to become frustrated when you're trying to focus, but just you can't. Um, this can lead to stress and also make the stress makes the uh, focusing on stuff that you're doing hard. And um, if you've ever found, found it difficult to get through a challenging task at work or as a student, if you're studying for an exam or spent time on um, a project, you might have wished that you could um, increase your ability to focus and concentrate. If that sounds familiar to you, then you are in the right webinar today with me to learn more about um, how to improve your focus and attention. So some of the factors that might affect uh, concentration both attention span and concentration can vary for a number of reasons, and these are some of them. So age and lack of sleep can affect concentration. Again, as I mentioned, um, most people forget things as they age and decreased concentration can um, come along with memory loss, head or brain injuries such as concussion, as well as certain mental health conditions um, can also affect concentration and focus. And um, again, I also mentioned this earlier, it's easy to become frustrated when you're trying to focus on, to focus on something, but you can't. So that can lead to stress and irritation which tends to make focusing on what you're doing is even more of um, a hard work. So if you've been trying to um, focus and concentrate on stuff and you couldn't, these are some tips uh, to improve your concentration. Number one, train your brain. So playing certain types of games can help you get better at concentration and concentrating on stuff. So try to play um, some games that you're using your, um, your brain and thinking of it, like Sudoku or crossword puzzles, chess, jigsaw puzzles word searches or scrambles, memory games, 
based on some of the studies, it shows that um, on brain training activities, you can have a big impact on concentration. Like brain training games can also help you develop your working and short term memory. As well as your processing and prom problem solving skills. And it can work for both for kids and for older adults too. Number two is improve your sleep. So occasional sleep depri deprivation may not cause um, too many problems for you, but regularly failing to get a good night's sleep can affect your mood and performance at work, which makes you not um, focusing on what you're doing. So being too tired can even slow down your reflexes and affect your ability to drive or to do other daily tasks. Having a demanding schedule or health issues or other factors sometimes makes it difficult to get enough sleep, but it's also important to try and um, get as close to the recommended amount of, of sleep as possible Maybe um, many uh, of the experts recommend adults to get seven to eight hours of sleep each night. So um, improving the sleep you do get can also have a benefit can also have benefits for you. So these are some tips to improve your sleep. Turn off a TV and put away screens like an hour before bedtime. Keep your room at a comfortable but cool temperature. Wind down before bed with soft music, a warm bath or a book. Go to bed and get up around the same time each day, even on weekends, so your body can adjust to the same time. Exercise regularly, but try to avoid a heavy workout just before bed. Number three, make time for exercise. So increased concentration and focus is among the many benefits of regular exercise. Exercise benefits everyone, as um, some studies show, some evidence to suggest daily um, physical activities or, that could um, help improve both concentration and attention after just four weeks. And some other studies also suggest just um, a year of moderate aerobic physical activity can also help stop or even reverse me memory loss. So, um, although aerobic exercise is recommended, doing what you can is better than doing nothing at all. Some people like weightlifting, some people like um, HIIT exercise, cardio exercise, depending on your personal fitness and your weight goals. But sometimes it's just not possible to get the recommended amount of exercise based on um, your health conditions or something. So if you're struggling to find time to exercise or don't want to join a gym, try to think of a fun way to work, um, to work out or to do an exercise throughout the day. If you get your heat, uh, your heart rate up, you're exercising, then um, ask yourself these kind of questions. Can you walk your kids to school? Can you get up 20 minutes earlier than your usual time every morning to fit in a quick jog around your neighborhood or even in your, in your backyard, just take laps. 
can you split up your weekly grocery trips into two or three tip, uh, trips to by foot or bike? Can you walk to the coffee shop instead of driving to, to it? Or maybe if you're working in an office settings, maybe you can do um, some push-ups or some squats while you're working. So number four is spend time in nature. If you want to boost your concentration naturally, try to get outside every day, even for just 15 to 20 minutes. You might take a short, a short walk through a park or your, in your neighborhood. Sitting in your garden or backyard can also help. Any natural environment has benefits to you. Some studies showed some evidence that um, increasingly supports the positive impact of natural uh, environment. Maybe um, include some plants in the office space that might help increasing your concentration and productivity at work. Number five, give meditation a try. Meditation and mindfulness practices can offer um, multiple benefits and improved concentration is only one of them. Meditation doesn't just mean sitting silently with your eyes closed, yoga, for example, but if you've if you've tried meditation and it hasn't worked for you, or if you've never meditate before, you can give it a um, a try. Yoga is one of the meditation. Um, reading a book is one of the meditation as well. There are so many different types of meditation other than yoga. You can look it up and give it a try. Number six is taking a break. So how can taking a break from work or homework increases your concentration? This idea might seem counterintuitive, but experts says it's re it really worked. So based on some of the studies, and this is a scenario uh, considered in one of them, You've spent a few hours on the same project and suddenly your attention starts to, uh, to wander. Even though it's hard to keep your mind on the task, you stay at your desk, forcing yourself to keep going. But your struggle to focus just makes you feel stressed and anxious about, to complete, about not completing your work in time. So you've probably been there before and next time this happened to you, when you, when you first feel like your concentration drop, take a short mental break. Refresh yourself with a cool drink or um, nutri nutritious snack. Take a quick walk around the building if you're working uh, in an office or if you're working from home, maybe go out in your backyard or your front yard, have like fresh air and get some sun. When you return back to work, don't be surprised if you feel more focused and motivated or even creative because breaks can help you boost these functions and more. Listen to music. <clears throat> So turning on music while working or studying may help increase concentration and focus.
even if you don't enjoy listening to music while you're working, using the nature um, sounds will help you um, focusing on what you're doing. So the type of music you listen to can make a difference. Experts generally agree that classical music, um, particularly particularly uh, the bark musical music or nature sounds are good choices to help increase your focus and attention. So if you don't feel like you want to listen to classical music and you don't care for it, try um, ambient or electronic music without lyrics, just the music itself. Keep the music soft or at background noise level so it doesn't end up distracting you from what you're doing. And uh, one more tip is to avoid choosing music that you love or hate since both types can end up distracting you. Number eight, vary your diet. So the foods you eat can affect uh, cognitive function like concentration and memory. Avoiding processed food, too much sugar, and very greasy or fatty food would help you concentrate more. So to boost concentration, try eating more of these kind of food, fatty fish, Think more of salmon or trout, eggs, white and yolk, both, blueberries, spinach. These are some type of food that would help you to concentrate more. And also staying hydrated can um, have a positive impact on concentration. Even mild dehydration can make it harder to focus or remember information. Eating breakfast can help you um, by boosting your focus first thing in the morning. So maybe um, aim for a meal that's low in added sugar and high in protein and fiber, like um, oatmeal, plain yogurt with fruits, um, or um, whole grain toast with eggs. These are all good choices for a healthy breakfast. Number nine is do a concentration um, workout. So concentration workouts often help um, adults and kids who have trouble focusing. It's a mental workout involves fully uh, devoting attention to an activity for a set uh, period of time. And these are some type of activities you can try to boost your attention and focus. Draw or doodle for 15 minutes. Spend a few minutes tossing a balloon or small ball with another person. Set a timer for three to five minutes. Try to blink as little as possible. That would make you focus more on what you're doing. So the bottom line of this, um, of this webinar and this topic, that some ways to improve concentration may work well, while others may not seem to do much for you, consider giving a range of approaches a try to see what helps. Experts still debate the benefits of certain methods, such as like brain training, but existing evidence suggests most of these tips can promote at least modest improvements in um, concentration for many people. So what's more is these tips and um, are unlikely to decrease concentration or cause other harm. So giving them a try shouldn't have any negative effect on you. 
just make sure um, if you have any problems and you, and you tried any of those um, tips to talk to your doctor and healthcare provider if you're having a, um, a hard time focusing. Because sometimes something else could be going on and it's important to rule out brain injuries or other serious issues to your um, healthcare provider. Thank you so much for attending today's webinar. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to post them on the chat and I will be around for a couple more minutes to um, make sure I answer all your questions. And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions as well, you can um, email me. This is my email or reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram for more um, videos.